Hi, I'm Chantelle and I'm a podiatrist at East Coast Podiatry and I'm here today to talk to you about bunions. Bunions is one of the most common conditions that we see at our practice. Um, a lot of patients will come in either having bunions from a very early age, which is called juvenile bunions, or even at much later chronic stages as well. Bunions, or the medical term hallux abductor valgus, um, is a condition that affects many patients we see, especially in Singapore, uh, due to the types of feet that most commonly come into our clinic. Bunions normally present in four stages. So when you come and see a podiatrist and you are presenting with one of the earlier stages, stage one, there is a deformity starting, but usually range of motion is still able to be achieved. When we are getting to the later stages of bunions, stage four, this is when the condition has become very chronic. And at this stage, we see restriction within the big toe joint that can often cause pain um, for patients on a daily basis. So what is a bunion? A bunion most commonly affects the big toe joint or the hallux, but it can also affect the small toe as well. The fifth toe bunion is called a tailor's bunion. When a bunion is affecting the first toe, it will affect the metatarsal and the phalanx. And this will be caused by excess pressure on the medial aspect or inner aspect of the foot that causes a bunion deviation to occur. So when we are talking about a bunion deviation, what we will commonly see is first off a mild deviation will begin to occur and this over time will continue to worsen until the big toe can actually be crossing over the top or actually underlapping the second toe as well. We typically find that patients will not just feel pain in the first big toe joint, but they can also start to feel pain at the apex or end of the second toe and can get secondary conditions such as corns and callus um, from friction pressure. Most of the time, when we're actually seeing patients come in who are younger, we are looking at ways that we can prevent a bunion deformity from worsening. When we are starting to see more elderly or more chronic conditions of the bunion, we are already seeing that restriction within the toe joint. This restriction is namely caused by joint space narrowing. So what you can imagine is if you have your two bones that are sitting with a good amount of joint space between them, this still has good range of motion and is able to function how it should. But if for some reason the pressure is too much onto the big toe joint, then what can happen is this joint can begin to narrow. And when you get to the stage where the bones are actually touching each other, that is when we start to see the wear and tear happening within the joint, which is also known as osteoarthritis. Many of the patients that we see are not at this late stage and there are still ways in which we can help um, with conservative treatment. Conservative treatment can be anywhere from using different treatment modalities like therapies to help if bunions have already become painful or one of the main treatments that we actually look into is in the form of a full custom insole or orthotic. A custom foot orthotic is actually designed to deal with the biomechanics of the foot. So actually some of the causes of bunions can be due to hypermobility of the joints and also what we see very, very often is flat foot or collapsing of the arches. When this actually happens, we need a device that is going to address how each individual is walking in order to offload from high pressure areas on the foot, which can lead to this kind of deformity. So because our insoles are designed by a podiatrist, we go through a complete musculoskeletal assessment first in order to determine your prescription for the insole. This will include going through a variety of different testings of the joints of your feet, your ankles, your knees, and your hips. We also have a look at your posture and some gait analysis. All of this information goes into creating your insole design, which makes it unique to you. So an insole that is designed for a bunion is there as a preventative device. What we are trying to achieve is to slow down the progression of the bunion deformity and to redistribute the pressure and help to alleviate any pain that you might be feeling at the deformity. Depending on the severity of your bunion will help your podiatrist to determine the type of treatment plan that is needed to help you with your condition. 
If you have already started to notice a bunion deformity or already have an active painful bunion, it's best to consult with a podiatrist quickly to ensure that we can help you get back to your chosen lifestyle with minimum downtime. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.